Yeah, this article is coming from Cointelegraph and Arthur Turner Wright. So investors have avoided FTX. So investors might have avoided FTX if the SEC had addressed Bitcoin ETFs, says BitGo CEO. And that is true because I remember when they were pushing for the Bitcoin ETFs, but SEC turned a blind eye and allow the FTX to just pursue to just continue as if F SEC didn't know much about FTX. So let's let's dive into this article. So the collapse of crypto exchange FTX and other bearish events in the space were at the center of discussions among lawmakers and witnesses at the inaugural hearing of the United States House Committee on Financial Service Sub Committee on Digital Assets, Financial Technology, and Inclusion. Addressing lawmakers at the March 9 hearing, BitGo co-founder and CEO Mike Belshi, Belish, or Belshi criticized the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's Commission for enforcement actions against crypto firms trying to do it right, quote and unquote, communicating with regulators and pursuing a path of, to operate in the country. He cited BitGo's experience going through the process of approaching the SEC in 2018, seeking a regulatory path forward on the questions of how the firm should custody assets, only to wait more than four years for a definitive answer, which is another bullcrap that's going on with the SEC, where companies will would would want to take the right road, as it's saying in this article. And they put in their applications for proper regula regulations. And on, it takes years. It takes years, almost four years, to get this process done. And most of these companies end up giving up, going into bankruptcies and falling out. This is messed up what the SEC is doing. This is killing innovation in America. According to Belch. The SEC's reluctance to address a basic regulatory issue like the issuance of Bitcoin exchange traded fund could have seemingly opened the door for bad actors like Sam Bankman Freed to operate FTX as he did. The former CEO faces charges from the SEC, the Commodity Features Trading Commissions, and the federal prosecutors related to transferring users' funds between the exchange and Almeida research. So, quote, you do have to wonder if we couldn't have avoided the massive amounts of money that flowed to FTX if the basic principle of a Bitcoin ETF had been provided and approved by the SEC, said Bilsch. There had been 25 plus valid applications, some from Invesco, and other reputable firms that have done ETS for many years in the past. BitGo co-founder and CEO Mike Belsch addressing the subcommittee on digital assets, financial technology, and inclusion on March 9th, 2023. Much of the discussion among lawmakers an industry expert at the hearing centered around which federal agencies could regulate certain crypto assets should Congress pass re related legislation. Some Republican representatives seem to be particularly critical of, of the Biden administration's approach on the crypto, as evidence in the hearing's title calling its actions an attack on the digital assets ecosystem. This report summarizes President Biden's political plan to, to lawlessly abuse the administrative state to push American crypto firms and their United States customer into offshore, unregulated, OPOQ, and unsafe markets, said Representative Tom Emmer. Citing a January 27th report from the White House on mitigating the risk associated with crypto. And that is true. 
Biden did push that. This administration is weaponizing the banking sector to debunk legal crypto activity here in the U.S. Using scare tactics to run an entire industry out of the country, which will only damage the country. I don't understand why these guys acting like crypto and blockchain is not going to be beneficial to the country and the current digital, the current uh, fiat currency. So other witnesses at the hearing were more critical of crypto as a whole rather than focusing on blaming any single agency, political party, or presidential administration. So Representative Brad Sherman, a well-known critic of the peace, of the pace, of the, of the space, referred to crypto as a scourge in the economic system. Wow. Lee Rainers, Rainers, the policy director of Duke Financial Economics Center, acclaimed, what is this? Tathau FTX was one bad apple. The entire crypto industry was rotten. <laughs> wow. How do, you, how do you blame a technology? It's like saying guns are killing people. When you know people are the ones who are using guns to kill people. So it's not the technology, guys. It's the people that are using the technology. Crypto and the unique nature of crypto was what fueled FTX rise. And it, it this is a quote, right, from these guys that are criticizing the crypto. Crypto and the unique nature of crypto was what fueled FTX rise. And it's what made FTX collapse. In the blink of an eye, said Rudo. What? That is some bull crap, and they know it. This man was swindling money from people who do not know what they were doing and were trusting him. The House subcommittee hearing was the first in the new session of Congress to address issues related to the crypto market and the collapse of FTX since December 2022. So, of course, you're going to be hearing all these nasty things coming from these people. So, anyway, lawmakers with the Senate Banking Committee held their own hearing exploring the impact of the crypto crash in February. Hmm. I tell you, man, what's it going to take? 